strong energetic boundaries are very important. And you have a right to your own space, your own boundaries. While you choose the tone you wish to experience within your aura that is purely for you. So yes, strong energetic boundaries are very important. Your own boundaries. And in conjunction with actively grounding out energy and filling up with your own divine spiritual energy are the essential key ingredients to a well-balanced, harmonious, healthy, energetic life. Energy is floating around in space all around us, all the time. Emotions, mental thoughts, pure energy. When a person has a strong emotional response to something that triggers them negatively, they may generate anger. The best possible scenario would be for this anger to be experienced truthfully and fully with awareness and then channeled safely into the ground where it can be transformed by the earth. In this way, no sparks of anger are left floating around in space and the person was able to be angry in a healthy way and get it out of this system. This way of experiencing and releasing anger can be very healing. Usually though, a person experiences anger then they either repress it within themselves where it will come out later in a passive aggressive way or they will get angry and energetically explode all over the place like an egg in a microwave sharing everyone with their bits of anger. Anger can be very messy. Because you are an electromagnetic energy being you have a tendency to attract energy like a sponge at times. And by simply walking through the street, you can absorb any number of energies and emotions that are not of you. And this is why you can feel great one moment and then out of sorts the next, which is the cause of disharmony within you. Now, if you happen to be close or walking through the space after the anger explosion, and you have an energetic match with the anger, meaning you had similar energy inside of your own aura anyway, so you matched it, then there is a likelihood you can absorb this anger into your aura. Once in your space, this foreign anger will hide out either in one of your auric layers, or in your physical, spiritual, mental, emotional bodies inspiring you to feel angry with you never knowing why. How could you understand the source of the anger? It's not your anger. So it's not something you can understand or figure out. And this anger will stay in your space until one day you hopefully ground it out. Most people carry other people's emotions and mental activity in their auras for the duration of their lives never understanding why they feel strange or anxious, stressed, angry, not realizing it's someone else's energy. This is why it's essential to have an energetic outlet so you can release all this energy floating around in your aura and the grounding cord gives you this. By releasing the energy down your grounding cord it will flow down and away from your aura permanently. Once you release energy down your grounding cord, you're creating an energetic space within your aura. You have to fill this empty space with your own energy from your golden sun. Because if you don't fill up with you, someone else's energy may jump right in there. And you probably wouldn't want this unknown energy to enter bringing with it a whole host of problems and issues and beliefs that are not yours. So by filling up with your own divine energy, then nothing from the environment can slip in. 
simply because you are full with your own presence. The way to do this is to imagine a golden energy bubble around you that operates as a barrier of protection and you set the boundaries of the bubble so nothing less than the energy of unconditional love can penetrate through, which means the anger cannot get in. And you consciously set the energetic tone within your bubble that you are physically in the center of at fun, humor, joy, love, peace, whatever you want to set it at. So while this World War III rages around your bubble, you're unaffected by it. And instead you can continue on to have the best day of your life. When you release someone else's energy down the grounding cord, know that this will be reallocated back to them from the center of the earth. So in essence, you're giving them an incredible gift by grounding them out as they're getting a vital piece of themselves back again, a piece that you may have been carrying around with you for a long time, and they may have missed that piece of themselves. So as their energy leaves you, see yourself filling up with your own beautiful golden rays of sun from above your head. And with this golden sun, know that it can shine down on you. It can rain gold down on you. It can be like a beautiful waterfall of gold flowing through you. It can even be like Niagara flowing straight through you, pushing everything out, forcing everything that's not of you out of you while replenishing yourself with your own presence. Releasing energy that no longer serves you in present time. Energy that is simply not of you. See it just flowing away. Whenever we take on other people's energy, we can take on responsibility for what we're holding for them. And depending on what that energy is, it can overlay your divine, beautiful essence with lower, slower frequencies that may not feel too good and bring the vibrating rate of your energy down, which can then rob you of your smile and your present moment. So release all energy belonging to others, effortlessly releasing them all down the grounding cord. You can let them all go at once and they will fit easily down the grounding cord simultaneously. And once they reach the center of the earth, their energy individually will be sent back to their own golden suns. You are literally returning them to themselves again, effortlessly. By grounding out an individual's energy one at a time, this actually helps to bring in awareness by using elimination as a way to discover whose energy has been residing inside of your space. Versus grounding everything and everyone out at the same time, which can also be useful when you want to shift energy out quickly and have little interest in knowing whose energy it belonged to. Sometimes though it's helpful to take it slowly and find patterns emerging with certain people so you can see who has been rummaging around in your aura, and with awareness, take steps to close any energetic holes these individuals are gaining access to your aura through. Your grounding cord helps you to stay connected to the earth. Your aura is a truly sacred space, and for you to fully appreciate its sacredness, it needs to be completely clear of everyone else's energy.
and with awareness take steps to close any energetic holes, these individuals are gaining access to your aura through. You have just given yourself an outlet for this old energy to leave your body and to leave your aura. This is just old energy you no longer need. Your grounding cord helps you to stay connected to the earth. It also assists you in letting go of energy that you no longer need. Now focus about six feet above you, above your head, and see you have a beautiful golden sun up there. It can be as big as you want it to be. This is your spirit. This is the part of you that is divine and whole and eternal. You hold every aspect of you in this golden sun and it is unique to you. Everyone on the planet has their own golden sun above them, whether they're aware of it or not, filled with their eternal spirit. Everything that they are residing in this golden sun above their heads. So right now, imagine golden energy shining down from your beautiful golden sun. It's as big as you want it to be. As it penetrates the golden bubble around you, feel it filling your space, all this golden energy, filling your aura, your physical body, and all the seven layers around you. Anything that is not of you, release it down the grounding cord as you fill up with your beautiful golden sun's essence that is purely you. So focus above your head and call in your divine essence, filling yourself completely, 100%, with purely you. So yes, strong energetic boundaries are very important and you have a right to your own space your own boundaries and in conjunction with actively grounding out energy and filling up with your own divine spiritual energy are the essential key ingredients to a well-balanced harmonious healthy energetic life 